Kev. Go fast. Pump, pump. Boom, Kev. Air. Boom. Boom. Intense. I love it. First in the tank is a tool that takes snacking to the next level. Hi, Sharks. I'm Kevin. And I'm Edwin. And we're the founders of Snacktive. We're seeking $200,000 in exchange for 10% equity of our company. Sharks, have a look at Kevin here. He really loves to snack. <laughs> I worked with Kevin for many years, and to call him a slob is an understatement. <laughs> I never got things back for him without stains or grease. Hey, Eddie, check out this console I've been working on. Ugh, this is disgusting, man. Dude, what was that for? So, Shark, as a problem maker, I became my own problem solver. Oh, whoa. Whoa. We revolutionized snacking and created the snacking tool of the future. <laughs> That's right, Sharks. Working from home in the past year, I got tired of being such a slob at my desk. I'm sorry. Cheat him out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Sharks. Working from home in the past year, I got tired of being such a slob at my desk. Like many, I love to enjoy a snack while I'm gaming or working. But keeping your hands and devices clean all at the same time is a challenge. I even try using these chopsticks, but they're super inefficient. <laughs> so I ask myself, there's got to be a better way. And that was Bertha's <laughs> snack thing. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> it streamlines snacking and keeps your hands and devices clean while you're working, gaming, <laughs> typing, texting, or swiping. It installs between your pointer and middle finger and keeps your hands completely mobile and free. By installing Snaptiv, you'll be more hygienic, more productive, and you'll look super cool. It's like having an extra pair of fingers. <laughs> That's right, Sharks. <laughs> no more dirty keyboards, licking your fingers, or piles of napkins. Let Snaptiv upgrade your snacking experience. Who's ready to get snacked? Who's ready to get snacked? <laughs> okay. so, so guys, can you actually type on your keyboard with both of those attached to both hands? Yeah. Yes. It's just like this, right? You just put it on your fingers like this, yeah. and yeah. then you just I can see it. pick up your yeah. snack. Like instantly, I just got happy. <laughs> How much does it cost you to make them? Landed cost right now is $2.60 uh, $2 for the wow. Snacktive, and then $2.80. Two cents for the uh, snack with case landed. How'd you come up with this idea? Uh, well, it was a few months before COVID, ha COVID hit, and I was working from home. I was snacking. I found myself licking my fingers, you know, and wiping <laughs> it on my shirt. I was touching my mouse, my keyboard. It was disgusting, right? You might and be my next husband. <laughs> I don't have to make a deal here today. I just marry you. <laughs> So why is this worth two million bucks? We're five and a half months old. We should be launching in the next week or two. And we did, up to date, we did $187,000 in sales. I've been sitting here writing all my notes with it on, you know. Perfect, <laughs> that's exactly what we wanna see, yeah. I'm such a slob, right? I, I mean, my 12-year-old son, Jake, literally just bought me a new keyboard because he wouldn't come down to my computer in my office because he said it was so disgusting. <laughs> and so, yeah, this is this timely and perfect. <laughs> I noticed that you don't have lenses in your glasses, or am I just missing? Yeah, this is, these are props. Like, I mean, I just wanted to look kind of nerdy. <laughs> he, got, he got LASIK, so. <laughs> yeah, those, are, those are fake? <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, Kevin. I gotta be honest with you. I like it, and I like the simplicity of it. It's just easy, simple, and fun. You're not planning to put this to retail. This is direct to consumer forever, right? We have plans for retail. We noticed a high increase of interest in uh, Asia, so we actually put uh -huh. in place um, an international dealer in Korea. We put it uh, in Taiwan, and we're working with a Hong Kong distributor. So uh, world Kong domination. Retail. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and we sold over $50,000 in international POs. Is it patented? We have a utility patent. So you have a utility patent pending? Yes. And did you mean to say that you have filed it? We filed with the acceleration, so it has been oh, filed. Oh, good for you. Yes. All right, I like it. I'm going to make you an offer. It fits into my portfolio of crazy chicken deals. Got to be a royalty, guys. $200,000, I give you that. I want a buck a unit till I make back a million, then the royalty goes away completely, but I get my 10% of smuck insurance in case we sell this to IBM. Mm. To IBM? Mm. Just saying. So before we, you know, thank you for the Look, offer. That's an offer, it's better than what you started Absolutely. with, which was nothing. Absolutely. Very, very grateful. I just wanted to mention a couple other things that we're working on. We actually uh, launched a big marketing 
uh, initiative with one of the biggest food delivery services in the nation that are limited edition, exclusive to their brand, that will be shipped to their dash marts across the nation. Wow. I like to call it Wonder Chop. <laughs> well, he's already trying to change your name. I mean, that's, that, that's not a good thing off the bat. We can so make you some custom ones. Here's what sure. I think, right? I think this is an amazing product. I love the idea. I love the fun behind it. Um, I want to be involved, right? But I think Lori would be an amazing partner for me in this space as well as you, just because of what she does in the retail side. Yep. Um, also, as a personality, I think the idea of marketing behind this product, that's what I do very well. I market. I know how to reach consumers. I think that Lori and myself can really bring value to this. What's your offer? Uh, well, can you let me get there, Kevin? Stop trying to bully me. Can you let me get there and stop trying to bully me, please? All right. Okay, how about we say 200K and we just want 20%? Yeah, for two of us. That's it. You guys. We'll go 10 and 10. 10 and 10. It makes us jump out of bed I and work hard for you. I do the Mr. Wonderful deal. And you should I say yes to that deal before something changes. And I manufacturing too. I can get this cost down for sure. You're gonna make a much better margin. Would you guys be willing to do at a 15%? 15? Oh, man, don't nickel and dime it. Well, actually, don't you know, nickel and dime it. I don't it. think, just listen to what you're I'll doing right now. I'll drop my equity request yeah, to 5% on, guys, just to squeeze honestly, their head. Listen to what you're sharks. doing right now, like okay? 20%. Listen to what you're doing and look at the opportunity, right? You clearly see where the advantages are in your favor from taking this deal. We don't want to go back and forth. Just to be We're competitive, going to go I'm going to modify my deal. I'm, I'm dropping the royalty to 50 20%. cents. And I'm yeah. dropping the equity of 5%. He's just to squeeze their head. He knows, that he, made, he, this he knows that he made an aggressive I mean, offer. If you want to be saying. global instantly, it's Honestly, it's instantly. Not, yeah, I think it's not a no brainer. We'll, we'll take your deal. We'll take good your deal. Go. That's a good go. <laughs> I like it. Let's go talk to our partners and give them a handshake. <laughs> you should have you shouldn't have came in so hot, Kev. Thank That's you your so problem. So I love it. So good. This is really good, man. It's gonna be fun, man. Love it. Love the personality. Love the personality. Love how you came in. These are so great. I mean, especially now. Yeah, feel free to take this home. I love it. I love it. I'm very disappointed, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. You did it, man. <laughs> wow. This is super exciting. Kevin's one of the funniest guys I know. Kevin Hart, not Kevin Choi. And having Lori in there, this is going to be great, right? She's super good at manufacturing, marketing. We're just going to really blow this up. I don't know why you came in My so aggressive. My deal was much better than yours. It wasn't. Way better. It's no, so it wasn't. It was so he aggressive. He always thinks his better. deals are better we than ours. Win. I want a dollar off a dollar. You get a million dollars after me, and I get my money back, and after that, the, it was so it was so aggressive. <laughs> Those guys had such a nice quality about them. You should have lowered your tone. You should have been much more appealing. I'm telling you. And, 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 they, and they probably would have seen it. They didn't no, see where you were coming from. I really like it. Lord, I'm, I'm happy to be your partner. I am happy to be your partner. Look we're going to blow this up. I I love it. I love Good it. Job, Kev. First in the tank is a product in the health and wellness space. What's going on, sharks? My name is Alexio Gibson. I was born and raised in the Bahamas, and I am here seeking $500,000 for 5% equity in my company. Ooh. Now, I'm a pretty healthy guy, but I wasn't always this way. In fact, when I was 21 years old, I weighed over 500 pounds Dang. and wow. was told that I wouldn't live to see 30. So I knew that I needed to do something right away to get my life back. I started working out more, eating healthy, and even went vegan, Mark Cuban. Yeah. <laughs> So during my transformation, I found a nutritionist ingredient that had 90% of the minerals that our human bodies need, and I incorporate it into my life every single day. Now, what is it? It's called sea moss. Sea moss is a powerhouse marine algae that exists in our oceans and has 90% of the essential minerals that our human bodies have. I wanted everyone to have this product so that they can become the best versions of themselves as well, which is why I created the Transformation Factory, a line of mouth-watering sea moss gels that you can take and get 90% of your nutrients with two tablespoons every day. So tell me, Sharks, who's ready to transform the world with me and see nothing but green in the future?
<laughs> That's a great Now, pitch. sharks, in the front of you, you have our mouth-watering line of sea moss gels for you to try yourself. You will be tasting our mango, strawberry banana, pineapple, dragon fruit, and last but not least, our elderberry. The strawberry tastes very good. It's almost like um, jam or jelly. Yes. More like a smoothie. It tastes more like a smoothie. So sea moss has 90% of the essential minerals that our human bodies need to function. So you have zinc, boron, you have iodine that treats thyroids, and it also treats the gut. The gut is where our immune system lives. Mm. The only sweetener in this is agave, organic agave syrup. Alexios, you said you lost 300 pounds? Yes, I did. How did you do that, and what was that like? Well, I remember reading an article that, you know, some weight loss contestants on, on different reality shows worked out four to six hours a day. And I told myself as a personal challenge, I'm like, man, these people are as big as I am. Some of them are twice my age. What's my excuse? I can do six hours, let's do this. Wow. I became obsessed with becoming the best version of myself. I would literally be on the elliptical and I'd be envisioning what, what does a, a, a more healthy version of myself wow. look like, a more confident Good version? For you. And I started chasing that guy in my, in my yeah. mind. Very, very strong. Yeah. Yep. Congratulations. Thank you, Seriously. Thank you guys. Thank um, you. What are your sales right now? Right now, we are at 3.5 million sales to date. Whoa. Wow. We started 11 months ago. Wow. Holy cow. How are you distributing it to get that kind of trajectory? So uh, the way this actually started, my 80-year-old grandmother was visiting from the Bahamas who has a lot of core mobilities and taking medication, so I knew I wanted to protect her. I would put this in her coffee every morning. I was sharing stories on my Instagram story, just showing like CMOS lattes every eight o'clock in the morning, and I'll give it to grandma. And they're like, I know what CMOS is. I keep hearing about it. Can I please stop by and get some? I'm a registered nurse. I'm in the COVID wing. And I'm like, absolutely. You, you ladies are soldiers. Come over, grab it. We, we didn't charge. And I was giving this away for free, not even thinking that it could have been a business. And it wasn't until I was getting about 60 orders a week I said, why don't I open an online store to make the process simpler? It exploded. From there, we started running ads. We started getting more SEO traction. We had an 800% growth from February to March when we started uh, running ads, and people knew that we existed. Did you make any money on the 3.5 million in sales? Yes, we have about 35% profit margin. That's we, what so you, you made a million dollars in profit? Yeah, 1.4 million. We poured a lot of it back into the business, That's fine. but we have extremely healthy cash flow. And is it all still direct to consumer? It's direct to consumer, 100% online. So I'm curious what you'd use our money for. So the, the way I would use the money is I actually want to have a transformation factory where we have the ingenuity and the machines to sh uh, shelf stabilize our products. You want to do that to get on retail shelves, right? Yes, we want to get on retail shelves. How much are you selling each bottle for? So an eight, eight ounce raw CMOS sells for $24.99. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. This is $24.99? Yes, $24.99. Oh. Yes. But you only use two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. You don't need the whole oh, jar. <laughs> and what does it cost you to make it? The cost for the smallest jar is $4.15. Well, that's wow. good margins. Yes. That's great yes. margins. So how are you dealing with this when you manufacture it? How are you making sure it's clean, safe, pure? Great question. So because this comes from outside of the United States, it has to be FDA cleared and cleared by customs to even enter for consumption. Why would anybody pay $24.99 for a tiny bottle of what looks like baby food? How did they learn about this? This is a culturally driven product, it right? Is. In our community, African American community, this is something that is now being raved about and we're seeing growth in it. Okay. So I've actually purchased it and it was in a plain jar and it was like an exclusive buy. It almost felt like a drug deal, I'll be honest. Like, I, said, I, said, I know somebody that can get you some. And I was like, all right, I'll try it. So everything that you're saying, yes. I do know to be true. What I'm most intrigued about are your numbers. Do you have other investors or partners right I now? I am a sole, sole owner. Good wow. for you, baby. Wow. We never hear I have no loans, I have no debt. Being first generation entrepreneur and everything, this is where I do need help, to where I, you know, I really want a strong financial background in a system. That's one area that I would love to be extremely then why tight. are you only giving us 5%? Why that's did a, you ask for $500,000? Because you don't need the cash, and you know if you need that much help and guidance, 5% is not going to get us excited. So, you know, I just, I'm very flexible in that. I'll tell you what I'm looking for the most is I want to work directly with, with one of you, you know? I just want to be a sponge and keep growing as an excellent CEO. I got to be honest, man. 
for me, you're, you're checking so many of the boxes. Me being a health and wellness guy, I can understand how this can fit in my other verticals. There's tons of things that I'm now getting my hands into. Something like this could be of interest. Yes. I, I don't see 5% doing it for me. I'm going to ask for 20%. I think that you're going to need a significant amount of help in building the infrastructure to run your business. Can I tell you something? I was going to make an offer of 20% as well. I think that's a fair price, and I think I have the expertise to help out in a real meaningful way. So then if that's the case, Barb, then if you want to, we split the 20%, we keep the offer at 500000 and we go 10 to 10. Great idea. That's our offer. I want to thank you, Barbara and Kevin, so much for your first initial offer. I do want to give the Sharks an opportunity to hear uh, their offers Understood. as well. Understood. I like that much. first initial offer. Yes. Interesting. <laughs> okay, well, let me give you my first Did initial I say that? offer. Okay, and tell you, you what did, I do with fine. this. I'm really intrigued. I love revenue. I love cash flow even more. You got both, so that's really impressive. Yes. Uh, I'm going to ask for more, actually. I'm going to give you the 500000 for 30%. And then I'm going to put Chef Wonderful behind it, and I'm going to sell it direct. I sell millions of dollars of sous vide, cakes, wines, spices, you name it. None of that has anything to do with the Seymour's I'm, I'm not doing it for 20% because the amount of work in setting this up and actually fulfilling to a giant direct-to-consumer play like QVC is really, really challenging. Alexia, yes. I'm going to, I've had an offer on the table way okay. too long. All Tell right. me right so, now uh, if you would like to move forward or not. All sharks are still in. Alexio has two offers on the table, one from Kevin O'Leary and another from Kevin Hart and Barbara for his company, Transformation Factory. Thank you very much, Kevin and Barbara. I love the fact that you guys are interested. What I would say is 20% uh, is a huge amount for 500,000. They do the 30% offer instead. Based on our current sales, you know, we're, we're doing over half a million a month in sales. Our profit margins are great. There's a lot of room for growth. We've managed to do this on our own. And you there's hope. so many things you hope, that we have You hope, because you don't know what you don't know. Right. Alexia, you with all due respect, you yes, sound sir. like you really need our help and expertise, particularly when you want to make a left-hand turn into the retail space. Yep. Yes, yes. We know how to not tell you what to do. You're the majority shareholder. Yes. But we can certainly weigh in on what's wise and what our experience has Absolutely. been to, Absolutely. Have, to help you make a better decision. Yes. I, I don't imagine you could go anywhere else where you could get like uh, the notoriety that this character to my right, this cutie yes. pie right here. Yes. Thank, you, thank you, Barbara. Thank you. Not you, not you. <laughs> You know? well, I would say I 100% agree with you. My, my kind of offer uh, to Kevin and Barbara would be for 20%, $800,000 in the company. We can use like that, that to move into I love uh, in you numbers. so much and it sounds so juicy, but no thank you. Kevin. Barb, are you interested in countering back and going to 600 and staying at 20%? I honestly feel $500,000 with the help Kevin. he needs is the right number. I'll do it with you at that price. Okay. If, if you want to go at 600, right? Yes. And keep it at 20%. Yes. I'm telling you, I, I truly do believe that there's a significant value in what you have here. Yes. And I do honestly believe in your growth potential and also you as a business person. I'm sold on you. Yes. You're going to need people that have relationships. I know that if Mark aligns himself with me, that makes whoever I want to get on the phone what? even what that happened? faster. For the you didn't want to go over 500. I said I you would go to 600. You said you didn't want to go to 600. Oh, but you didn't even take a breath. Now I'm jealous. <laughs> Well, that's business, Barb. You is know, he, like I know, you Barb, can't think about it. Is he still a cutie pie? No, not at all. <laughs> so now you have an offer yes. where it's so Alexio, Alexio, and Alexio, Kevin what do you for want to do? You I, do us I, I love that offer. Mark, I'm a huge fan. We're both vegan. I love it. Uh, 600,000, 20% to work with both of you would be incredible. You guys have a deal. <laughs> Done. Thank you so much, Barbara. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes. Congrats on what you accomplished. Hey, man, your account is big things. Big, big things, man. Thank you. Love your story. Yes, thank love you. your story. Thank love you. your business mind. All right? Thank you. Thank, thank, you. thank you so much, Mr. Gee. Wonderful, Lori, yeah. and Barbara. Congratulations. Thank, thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Making a deal with Mark and Kevin is incredible, and growing my business with them is a dream come true. Yeah, I got a deal. <laughs> yeah, baby. Hey, K.
Kev, you just drowned Barbara in the ocean. <laughs> well, I didn't drown oh Barbara God, in the ocean. I wanted Barbara. Got got away from me so fast. I wanted Barbara as a partner there, but Barbara didn't Whoa. want to go up. And, and he's and a rock solid guy. What a guy. Honestly, yeah. though. Guy. I, I think a story behind a product makes a product that much better. Next up is an entertainment company with representation as a mission. Hi, Sharks. I'm Manuel. And I'm Giselle. And I'm Turnus. And we are Black Sands Entertainment. We're currently seeking $500,000 for 5% of our company. <laughs> Sharks. America loves entertainment, be it movies, television, anime, or comics. There has never been more content than there is today. But there is still a struggle to find content and characters that represent the black community's historical achievements before slavery. That's why we created Black Sands Entertainment. Black Sands is one of the only successful black-owned publishing houses in America, and it all started with the flagship title, Black Sands, The Seven Kingdoms. And after 100,000 copies sold, we knew a legend had been born. Wow. Our sales are phenomenal. But one thing that can take a $1 million publishing IP and turn it into a billion dollar licensing and merchandising IP is to make it into an animated series. We are here to give black and brown creators a place to tell their stories and shine a spotlight on the rich history of our people. So Sharks, who, who is, is ready, ready to, to join, join the Black Sands family? Ooh, okay. Please sit back, relax. We're gonna give you a little taste of the future of Black Sands Entertainment. How long has he trained you? I did not train him. I took him into the wilderness for five years. He has survived. I forbid this battle. You will stop nothing. Damn it, brother. Why must you be like this all the time? Asar, you need to think this through. There is nothing to think about. Black Sands. You can read it and watch it. Uh, let's go. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? I'm going to start here. And not just because I'm black but because I understand the value behind IP, the want and need for it. Um, what's the cost that you put into this so far? So our animated property, which is an eight minute pilot, is 250,000. And Turnus is the expert in that. He is our head of studio. Is this all self-engineered, self-developed? Yeah, like I've been in the business like 25 plus years. Wow. I've been with Disney, Pixar, like major studios. And I left all that to join Black Sands because it's something I really believe in. And mm -hmm. what I saw was like a real winner. How are you creating a revenue stream? Most of our revenue stream is physical books. That's what we do. Um, currently, we're on pace to do about 120,000 units this year. Direct to consumer? Direct to consumer. And what do you sell them for? So we sell that one for, it costs $2 at landing. $20 retail and $8 wholesale. Good for you. $20 retail, is that a typical retail price? That is a typical retail price. Um, you mentioned comic books as well. We have a lot of comic books. We have 12 titles that are currently signed to Black Sands. The one that you currently have in your hand is our flagship title, which makes the bulk of our money. So from comic book one to now, what has been the progression of sales that have gotten you guys to that number of 120,000? Um, in our first year, we did about $40,000 in sales. We just started in 2017. In 2018, we did about 220,000 in sales. Uh, 2018, we raised capital for um, a DVD. We built that. In 2020, we had 600,000 in sales. This year, we're at 800,000 in sales. Year to date. Yeah, year to date. Manuel and Giselle, what's your backgrounds? So I'm a military veteran. I served in, Thank in the Army. Thank, Thank you, you for so your much. service. Thank you so much. And we took that military background, me and my husband. So and you're married? We, yes, we are. Did you know anything about animation, anything about comic books? We didn't books? know anything, but with the military background, we knew how to execute and manage a business. And who created the stories? Manuel. I'm a big entertainment guy. I constantly see the same Egyptian story flop over and over again in the industry. They're very detached from the historical setting. And so I said, I'm going to make my own story about Egypt. I'm going to put everybody in the Middle East into it. So we got Spartans, Minoans, Canaanites. You got the whole Bible right there, yeah, right? You got the whole, you got the whole yeah. Middle East involved. Educators, they love this stuff. So, so the next big question is your profitability and cash burn. This year, we're 108000 in the green. How much cash do you have in the bank? 300000 
Uh, to Kevin's point on leveraging IP, where do you see the series going, right? You've got to have a place you like to see it because it's not a traditional television Absolutely. type thing. So we are eventually going to find a distributor, right? Let me stop you right there. Just, um, I act as a one-stop shop. I'm, I'm a distributor. I'm a production hub. Um, $500,000 is a, is a lot. What are you using the money for? So the money that we're gonna get, um, you know, when we get this deal, right, is to expand the production Just like of Black that, Sands. you're gonna get that deal. <laughs> Man, you always got confidence, I like, I like it. I like that, I like it. I'm telling I you right that. now, we do eight issues a year. We will massively expand it. We'll probably get to 30 different issues a year, including pumping out at least a full season of the main title and all these ridiculously lovable characters in the series, they get their own series. See, but when I, when I ask you that question, I'm, I'm expecting a clear answer. Tell me where you're spending the money. That's what I need to know. Hiring artists to basically build this pipeline. I need writers too and everything else. These artists are like $30,000, $40,000 each every single year. All right, guys, I do understand what you're doing and I understand the world. The 5% is, that's ridiculous. I'm gonna throw that out the window. That can't happen. I mean, you're asking for an investment and you're asking for uh, the added value in you creating IP. So I'm just gonna tell you the value I feel like I'm bringing to you before I give you my offer, okay? I own distribution in the world of audio. Yes. I own distribution in the world of television. Because of my ecosystem and what I know we can bring to the table, I see the significant value in just a brand. And if you have a brand and you're already moving product in that brand, that's a value to me. Because if you do strike gold in this space and you get to the world of toys, et cetera, well, this can be a, this can be a money maker. Oh, I just cursed, I'm sorry. This can be, <laughs> Whoa, this, this can be a money maker. So I am going to put an offer on the table. Wait, can I get in there? Of course you can. You tell me if you like where I'm at, okay? okay. You're asking for $500,000 and you're you're saying we want it because we want to bring in the other people to help create. We well, already have that. We already have those people. So you're not paying for that necessarily because you'll be accessing mine. Kev, I'll help on the technology, right? Okay. I'll help on the online distribution side of it. Okay. But you've got the whole pathway. In you're... this case, I've never been more comfortable yeah, about, that's the taking, whole point. about taking an asset and being able to bring value to an asset. This is what I do. You're the green light that they need in order to get to the next level, right? Look, you got $500,000 on the table, but we want 30%. All sharks are still in. Mark and Kevin Hart are interested in animation company Black Sands, but they want a much bigger stake in the company than the 5% they came in offering. This is what I do. You're the green light that they need in order to get to the next level, right? Look, you got $500,000 on the table, but we want 30%. And I, and I think that's more than fair. Can I counter? Yes. You're nuts. Of course. Nuts. Of course. You have to tell me if I'm crazy or not. $500,000 for 10% between the two of you and perpetuity on books, 25 cents per hardcover, the royalty deal. No, that's not what this Thank is about. Thank goodness I'm here. No, because you know as well as I do, the grand slam doesn't come from making per book. It's when this gets picked up for a movie and turns into a franchise, and uh, he's the producer. I'll give you the last example. I'll take the royalty. <laughs> I'll give you, here, here's the last example, OK? This is, this is where my creative mind goes as a CEO. What I'm telling you is that my 30% ask is not because of the hypothetical opportunity. I'm embedding you into my system. I understand 100%. But I raised capital on that last valuation. And, and, and to but literally you... go six times How much have you higher, raised? I raised a million dollars, and the last 500 was at 5%. Yeah, but that's it, not the it's point. Just, it's just, I think it's the just... problem here is there's partners, and then there's partners. Get the difference? Some partners aren't created equal. And, and when you tell your investors mm -hmm. who you just brought in, it's not about the valuation that they paid. It's the valuation of where it's going so they can get a return, right? And by the way, I would not be asking for this particular number if you didn't have to access my real resources. You said we're gonna get some creative people to come in, new animation, new stories. I have that. Okay. That engine is already working, it's already pumping. You're tapping into an ecosystem that exists. Okay, my fans, they want this done. They do. So you guys got a deal. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's a game of IP. All right, Pete. I didn't know you were this. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Let's do a TikTok. No, this is Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. That's my Thank you very much. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome. He's an A. That's his little get over it. Let's go, man. What this means is there's going to be a Black Sands anime hitting the top 10 list on the world. Yes. Period.